Hello Virgo and welcome to your March shadow work reading. Before we get started though, I want to let you guys know that for the March workshop, because you guys know I have a monthly workshop series, we're going to be focusing on building a healthy spiritual practice because I think that's something that's so important to do. Um, and so we're, that's going to be what the topic for that workshop is going to be and I'm really excited. Um, the link will be down below for those who are going to want tickets. So with that said, let us get started on Virgo's March shadow work reading for sun, moon, and rising. Virgo, what does Virgo need to know for their March shadow work? Sun, moon, and rising. Ooh, okay, all right. Okay. Okay, Virgo, Mark, March shadow work reading, sun, moon, and rising. Oh, okay. Okay, bottom of the deck. Okay, oh, okay. Okay, Virgo, <laughs> Virgo, how y'all doing right now? <laughs> Are y'all doing okay? Okay, listen, we're gonna talk about it. So as you can see, you guys, the shadow work is very, very, very specific. Um, there's definitely a little bit of a lack of balance with you guys, um, there's a lot of duality. Um, and I think, I do think that your duality is being, it's coming up and is being, it's, it's a factor right now. Um, right now you're starting off Pisces season being mutable energy. You guys are mutable signs. So there is that like a little bit of that flow with the mutable energies. Um, but there is a lack of balance uh, within the month of March for you guys. That is the part of the shadow work that you guys are a little bit refusing to face. I feel like you guys are being a little bit stubborn mentally. You see how all of this is sorts um and you guys are like I, I love to say that you guys virgos are grounded air because i feel like you guys are mentally the sign that is still ruled by mercury but you guys are an earth sign so you guys are grounded air um and right now mentally you guys not are not in the right place um i feel like you guys are blocking yourselves or refusing to admit something or even refusing to do something about it and it's causing you some turbulence is the word that I'm gonna pick um you guys are it's this is like Libra energy justice balance right um there's a calibration that you guys need there's a balance that you guys need you guys definitely need to love yourselves a little bit more right now there's a need for self-care there's a need to um really be at peace with yourselves with where you're at i feel like there's a little bit of discontent um within where you're at in your journey and this could you know this shows within the bottom of the deck because we have that the star card the nine of swords the six of wands and the king of wands so there, there's almost like a discontent of you not achieving something um of you not you know being where you're at where you thought you were going to be um and not willing to accept the choices that you made into being blocked in the way that you are right now um aries season is going to be a little bit triggering for you because it's kind of like the question is what do you need to do what are you doing what what are you what do you need to stop doing um and for that you really need to sit with yourself and address the big elephant in the room which is your decision making you are not looking at the elephant in the room you're not looking at how you have contributed to your downfall right now um to you being in the situation that you're you're in right now um and because you're not looking at you know your actions and you're not trying to literally hold the mirror to yourself and say okay you know what okay Abby, if I'm being honest, yeah, I put myself in the situation. Yeah, I gave this too much of my energy. Yeah, I've been self-destructing for a while. Yeah, I'm not in balance. Yeah, I haven't been taking care of myself as much as I should have. And I would like to remind y'all that y'all rule healing, okay? Y'all not healing yourselves right now. And you need to. You need to heal yourselves. You need to forgive yourself. You need to bring balance back into the situation and back into... Um, the, the back into the focus okay balance and healing is the key for march for you guys in order to overcome your like the shadow that you guys are being like haunted by the like karmically um by certain decisions that you have made and you're refusing to take responsibility for it but it's haunting you it's haunting you and it's gonna get to the point where it's causing a lot of mental agony i feel like you guys really need to focus on your mental health for this month i would definitely say go to therapy um talk to someone talk to your friends um focus on your healing um do a cleansing 
start off the month right do a cleansing balance your energies do a spiritual bath i'm um, focusing focus on some uncrossing work because you guys are definitely crossed you guys are definitely not you know you're not happy you're just not happy and you're refusing to to see the truth for what it is because i feel like you know that if you accept the truth for what it is you know that you were the problem and you have put yourself in a situation where now you're unbalanced from your lack of action towards that and now it's kind of like you have to pick yourself back up heal yourself from here take all these swords one by one by your damn self and it doesn't feel good it doesn't feel good that you have to do that it's, it's easier to like ignore it and kind of just fall into your regular everyday routine because again you guys also rule the mundane the everyday kind of um routine for yourselves but it's just not healthy it's not healthy it's not logical it doesn't make sense for you to kind of just ignore your own healing and just keep putting your energy elsewhere you really really need to focus on where you where you fell short within yourself and make it right you really need to make it right you really need to forgive yourself there's a lot going on with you guys um for the month of march but you guys need to get back on track you really 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 do i feel like pisces season is triggering triggering um and pushing you to reflect in, place, in places that you don't want to look at in places that you're on balance and you just really don't want to look at virgo um sun moon and rising march shadow work virgo sun moon and rising virgo sun moon and rising march shadow work virgo sun moon and rising march shadow work okay so mm, persist in pursuits okay we have spiritual quest we have spirit is about and awaken your magic okay because you really you really need to focus on back on healing back on your power back on doing what it is that you do best and you also need to know that like your spirits your ancestors your guys are very very much hoping and like really pushing you towards um shifting this energy in a way that is productive to your healing and to your growth um you really need to try your best to overcome the situation to to try your best to overcome this like very feeling blocked feeling like you're mentally just not not taking you know initiative where you need to take initiative it's definitely um it's a journey that you're taking but your spirits are still supporting you during this time it's just that you're you're going through a very dark period and you need to spiritually address the situation as well you need to be working spiritually to support yourself during this time especially because it's almost like you're, you're like clearing the air you're clearing your mind you're clearing and and making peace with um certain decisions that were made um and you need to do so at your pace you need to do so in the right way and because of this as you bring balance into your situation you need to lean on your ancestors and your spirits to help you navigate your way out of it um because right now you just don't feel too good you don't feel too good but you need to continue to push forward you need to continue to go through this journey and you need to work spiritually in order to get back in balance again archangel michael virgo sun moon and rising march shadow work archangel michael virgo sun moon and rising march shadow work okay so first one we have is romance angels are helping you and be gentle with yourself because one thousand percent one thousand percent you should be gentle with yourself right now it's not necessarily the easiest thing one of the things that is coming up for you guys especially because libra is the justice card um that's that energy of love romance committed relationships you guys have been wanting to be in a committed relationship um for a minute you guys have been wanting to have a stable something for a minute but you you guys have not realized that you need to be ready to receive this relationship and because you haven't been you haven't received it and that's what's happening right now especially with like if you feel like so lost or feel like you know what i'm never gonna get this i see other people going through this but i'm never gonna get this keep in mind that the two of swords in the center of your reading the twos that duality okay the that the twos is ruled by the high priestess in tarot the high priestess also rules over the two of cups okay the two of wands okay the two of pentacles and the two of swords there are times that we spiritually block ourselves that we mentally block ourselves from things that are already meant for us and we stall them um from coming in at the time that they need to come in and it, it just creates more blockages than we need for ourselves and like right now you really need to focus on 
getting mentally clear so you can get back to manifesting what it is that you want in the relationship that you want the love that you want for yourself instead of just sitting and feeling alone and allowing yourself to feel alone for so long virgo march 2020 shadow work so i'm learning rising virgo Ooh, there we go one more card virgo and then rising march 2020 shadow work Ooh, okay <laughs> okay so you guys are getting a fiery climax approaches full moon in aries um luck is on your side new moon in sagittarius and the answers you need are coming full moon in gemini i do feel like you guys are again mentally you will come out of this you'll be able to overcome the situation you just need to do the work okay you need to do the work no excuses do the work um the, the energy especially when airy season comes through you're going to be able to tap back into the fire um especially with the way that the bottom of the deck look the bottom of the deck looks like for you but you need to overcome your mind in order for you to move into victory and feel more like yourself you need to overcome your mind um you need to overcome the turbulence and you need to you need to stay the course you really really need to stay the course you need to not have doubt about what it is that you want it's coming you just need to stay the course about what it is that you want at the end of the day virgo march shadow work sun moon and rising virgo march, shadow work Ooh. okay there we go we have feelings and we have asked for help and this is what i mean by your spirit guys have not given up on you but you guys also need to ask for help if you need it you guys need to reach out and be like hey can you i'm, I'm i know i'm being hard-headed i know i haven't been paying attention i know i haven't i've been kind of making th certain things worse i know i i've been getting in my own way but i really need you guys to help me overcome this and help me move past this help me heal myself i really need you guys to guide me in the direction really get into prayer and be Again, be gentle with yourself, but ask for help, okay? Ask for help. You don't have to be the tough person all of the time. You can literally go in and go through your own healing process and ask your spirits to help you. Don't alienate yourself, okay? Don't fall into toxic Virgo energy um, and alienate yourself and use your hermit mode in order to, you know, disconnect from the things that you need to work on. Actively ask for help, okay? Virgo, sun, moon, and rising, March shadow work. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, March, Shadow Work. <laughs> I'm laughing because this is so you. Um, but the Wizard of Awareness. <laughs> this is giving Hermit Mode. Um, Hermit Mode, but with a purpose. Like you're meant to go in mentally and sort out what's going on internally, so that you could have more awareness about how to move forward. Um, once you have processed and healed from the past, like you really, really need to. Um you you really need to just sit and be yourself but do it correctly don't don't fall in toxic virgo energy again like i just said you guys need to heal yourselves you guys need to have a little bit more awareness you guys need to tap back into your passion and don't give up on the dreams that you have for yourself don't give up on the dreams okay so that is the message that i have for you um thank you guys so much for watching this video i love you guys so much definitely don't forget to check out the patreon below and i will see you guys in the next video Bye.